Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a new class. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, JC. How are you? Hey, Hello, good evening. Very good. You are good. <laughs> okay. Hello to San Francisco, to Naum. Hello. <laughs> nice. Deborah, hello. Monica. Oh, hello. Hello, everybody. Yes. Hello. Look, look at Naum. He's in San Francisco, California, right? <laughs> nice. Hello, Lupita. She's saying hello in the in the chat. Yes. Yvonne, always ready, right? Congratulations. And Jose, Mr. Magaña, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Okay, now it's time to start, right? Bye. Hi, Hi Jose. <laughs> okay, let's begin with the presentation, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, today we close the first week, right? Esta semana estamos cerrando nuestra, este día, perdón, estamos cerrando nuestra primera semana, our first week, right? And uh, we finish with the vocabulary practice, vocabulary practice, right? Today is Tuesday, um, September 27th. Tuesday, September 27th, right? Good. And English Corporativo and Teacher Javier Gomez say, welcome back. Now, we have the vocabulary, right? Any questions say the teacher and the student says, can you speak more slowly? What does cat mean? How do you pronounce this? How do you say telephone in English? Etc. Etc. We practice this expression, right? Classroom language. And now, uh, the objective for tonight is no. Please, can you read the objective for tonight now? Allow, right? Fuerte, please. No. <laughs> I will be to. I will be. Able, able, uh, able to, able to talk, able what me, and other people, and other people do you do in different, okay, different workplace and say. Uh, or 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 our occupation occupation very good thank you thank you very much now so we're going to talk about the occupation my occupation your occupation the occupation of other people right okay now let's start with um oh i have a message here in the chat give me a second uh minor Ok, good, minor. Understand. Cuando llegue a casa, minor, me avisa, ok? De momento lo, lo vamos a poner la asistencia ya, yeah, yeah, a minor. Good. Let's continue with this. Ajá, uh -huh. here we have some occupations. And this is alphabet soup. Oops, 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 oops. Ok. The alphabet soup, you know, sopa de letras. The alphabet soup. Oh, sorry. Ahí estamos. Ok, good. Excuse me. Está sensible mi mouse. <laughs> Está mirando y no me toques. <laughs> ok, good. Here we have some occupations. Look. Doctor, teacher, painter. Uh, ok, Abby. Todavía no hemos pasado lista, Abigail. No, no, no problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ya, ya lo voy a pasar. No se preocupe. Viene a tiempo, exactamente, no me preocupes. Ok. Doctor, teacher, painter, salesperson, vendor, plumber, nurse, cashier, 
Flores. Repeat after me, please. Doctor. Teacher. Painter. Salesperson. Vendor. Plumber. Nurse. Cashier. Florist. Good. Let me see. JC, how do you say doctor in Spanish? How do you say doctor in Spanish, JC? Doctor. Very good. Thank you. Now, how do you say teacher? teacher in Spanish? Eh, no sé si... huh? Sorry, JC. Dijo algo más, JC. No. Solo soy yo. Sí, se escucha cortado. Uh, Mi internet se escucha cortado, ¿sí? Sí. Yes. sí, sí, sí. Uh, bueno, voy a desconectar un ratito mi cámara, solo un ratito, mientras se estabiliza, sí, después voy a probar, ¿sí? Ok, hello, hello, ¿me copio mejor ahora? Yes. Sí, un poquito mejor, va, ok. Bueno, espero que todo esté bien. Ya que el día me asusté muchísimo que mi internet se fue para abajo. Bueno, para mientras, sin cámara, el teacher, un ratito nada más, por el internet. Yes. Ok. Naum, please. How do you say teacher in Spanish? Sir. Ok. Edwin, how do you say painter in Spanish? ¿Cuál, cuál, cuál sería? Painter. Painter. Doctor is doctor, teacher is professor. And painter, what is painter? Me copia, Edwin. Ah, oh, por ahí están respondiendo. <laughs> bueno, vamos a ver si, si Mónica. Mónica, please. Écheme la manita ahí, Edwin. What is painter in Spanish? No. Okay. Uh, okay. Yvonne, please. How do you say painter in Spanish? Pintor. 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 Yeah. Pintor. Good. Salesperson. Jose, how do you say salesperson? Ah, uh, okay. Permita un segundo. No le funciona el micrófono a Edwin, por eso es que no contestó. No hay problema, Edwin, pruébelo. Cuando lo tenga listo, pues ahí me pega el aviso ahí, ¿ok? Si no, por chat. Oiga. Ah, ya, ya había adivinado, Edwin, ya ve. Queda constancia pública que Edwin ya lo había adivinado. Painter es pintor, ¿verdad? Que conste. ¿Ok? <ríe> Good. And uh, let me see. Uh, salesperson, okay, ¿verdad? Jose, how do you say salesperson in Spanish? Persona. Ajá, persona que, persona que hace qué. Vale, le voy a dar una pista. Avon. No, no cae. Simán. No. Se le escucha recortado. A, to, a mí se... Ok. Mire, ya desconecté, desconecté la cámara y aún así se ve cortado. Voy a hablar más despacio. Slowly. Slowly. Vamos a hablar slowly. Ok, José. Salesperson. Salesperson, José. Bueno, vamos a ver. Avi, que nos ayude. Tal vez Avi me copia. Avi, salesperson in Spanish. Vendedor. Asesor de venta. Ah. Vendedor. Gracias. Vendedor. Vendedor, right? Ven, eh, salesperson. Y vendor también. 
solo que vendor es vendedor público. Por decir algo, en la calle, en la calle, vendor, vendor. Vamos a ver, Ivonne me está copiando, Ivonne. Sí, o sea, pero... Se le entiende bien poco el... Se oye cortado. ¿Y cómo hacemos? Pues reclamarle a estos señores de, de internet que me están fallando. Ok. Voy a escribirles en el chat, permítanme. Vámonos al chat. ¿Yes? So. Para Delia va esta pregunta. Plumber. Plumber. Fontanero. Fontanero. Oh. Okidoki, correct. A ver. Para Jonathan. Jonathan. Enfermero. Yes, yes. Ahora Alessandro, vamos a ver. Cashier. In Spanish, cashier, Alessandro. Refrigerador. Mm, no, no. no. Cajero. Ahí se nos adelantó Lu Lupita, right? Cajero. Yes. Thank you, Alessandro. Avi. Ajá, Abby. Abigail. Hola. Florist. Florista. Yes, yes, very good. Now, como, vamos a explicarlo en el chat para los que no me escuchan. Yes. Find the occupation. Find the occupations in the alphabet soup. Encontrar las ocupaciones en la sopa de letras. ¿Ok? Good. Mientras tanto, voy a pasar asistencia, right? Attendance. Teacher. Yes. I think it's because of the rain. Because yesterday I had a problem with my internet. I don't know why, but I think it's because of Maybe it's the rain. the rain. Maybe. Maybe, I hope. Espero que se me estabilice. Espero, okay. In the meantime, eh, encuentren la... Les doy permiso que manchen. 
Pueden manchar la pizarra, la, la pantalla. Yes. Vamos a ver quién encuentra la primera, ¿ok? So, Alessandro. Present. Good. Yvonne. I'm here. Débora. Here, teacher. Delia. Here. Good. Happy you are again in the class, Delia. I'm happy to hear you, teacher. Okay. Good. Well, because I, I don't see you. No, no, yes. Es que he apagado mi cámara por, por, para que se me escuche la voz. Aquí estoy, ve. La, la voy a apagar otro ratito para, mientras se estabiliza mi internet, ¿ok? Eh, Edwin. Present teacher. Uh, ya funciona el micrófono, good. Sí. Yes. Lupita. Erika. Erika. Abigail. Abby. Present. Okay. Elizabeth. Present. Good. Jonathan. Present teacher. Jose. Present teacher. Naum. Present teacher. Good. JC. Present. Minor viene de camino, pero le vamos a poner asistencia a Minor. Sí, aquí estoy, solamente que no he llegado todavía a casa. No, no, tranquilo, tranquilo. Cuando llegue me avisa. Yes. Melba. Melba. Mónica. Present. Nicole. Oscar. Oscar. Robert. Ok. Very good. Uh, Yvonne, ¿cómo se me escucha ahora? Good, teacher. Good, good. Bye. Voy, a, voy a probar encendiendo la cámara, a ver si no se traba la cosa aquí. Ahí estoy otra vez. ¿Se sigue oyendo bien, Ivonne? Sí, sí, ok. Good. Now, let me see. ¿Cómo va la cosa aquí? Quiero ver. Let me see. Uh -huh. Doctor. Plumber. Um, painter. Correct. Nurse. Uh, florist and uh, teacher, correct, teacher. And this is salesperson, uh -huh, al revés, salesperson. That's correct. Vamos a ver si nos falta uno más. Let me see. Vamos a chequear aquí, florist. Uh -huh. Vendor, right? Vendor. Yes, it's correct. Congratulations. Ahora vamos a borrar la pantalla porque aquí le voy a poner la respuesta. Yes. Ahí está la respuesta. Yes. Ok. Vamos a hacer algo. Voy a dejar de compartir y luego voy a compartir nuevamente. Ok, ahí estamos. Look. Doctor. Plumber. Teacher. Cashier. Vendor. Salesperson. Firefighter. Bombero, right? Firefighter. Nurse. Flores. That's it, right? Congratulations, right? Congratulations. Eh, 
Let me see. Okay. Deme un segundito por acá. Uh -huh. Okay. Hoy sí. ¿Les van a aplaudir? Ese aplauso es para ustedes, ¿sí? Yes? Ok, very good. Tengo dos mensajes en el chat. Eh, sí, uh, ahorita va saliendo, pero eh, como dice Huawei, no lo identifico. Robert, no. Nicole. Se lo, está, se lo está escuchando entrecortado. Bro. Sí, ok. Nuevamente, voy a, voy a desconectar la cámara entonces. Qué lástima. Vaya. Ahora, Edwin. Hello. ¿Se oye mejor, Edwin? Sí, sí, ya se escucha bien. Ah. Sí, se escucha bien. Vaya, van a disculpar que voy a apagar un rato mi cámara porque no encuentro otra forma de estabilizar el internet. Déjenme chequear una cosita. Solo dejo un segundito, permítanme. Quiero chequear cómo está la cajita de, del internet. Si apaga el router, igual no se Aquí estoy ah. otra vez. Hello, hello. Se me oye, se escucha. Hello. Hello. Bueno, Ivonne. Hola, better. It's better. Ok. Good. Vamos a ver si podemos seguir con la clase. Vamos a disculpar. Yes. Sorry. Again. No. Yes, it's better. Now, how to use the verb to be? How to use the verb to be, right? This is the review. Vamos a hacer un repaso. Here we have affirmative statement, right? I am an, with contractions, I'm an. Good. Edwin? Me escucha, Edwin? Teacher, y si conectas tus, tus datos móviles y luego uh, reseteas su router mientras carga nuevamente, porque si, hoy sí si no se escucha nada. Nada, no se escucha nada. Bueno. Uh, Voy a hacer algo. Voy a moverme a otro cuarto. Me voy a mover a otro cuarto. Aquí, permítanme. Voy a escribirlo. Teacher, si desconecta su router, lo apaga y lo vuelve a encender. Ok. Es que ya revisé el router y todo está bien. No falla. No. O puede conectar su cable directamente. No tiene cable de internet, teacher. Así puede conectarlo directamente a la computadora sin necesidad de Wi-Fi. Voy a intentar. A veces funciona a intentar... eso. No, no, no tengo cable. Sorry. Oh, ok. No cable. Pero hoy, mañana vamos a ir a comprar uno. Ya, ya me dio la idea. Yes. Me voy a mover. Me voy a mover de cuarto. Give me a second. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hoy sí está mejor. Hello. Sí, está mejor. Sí. Vale, voy a ver la cámara ahorita, si funciona. Hello. 
Hello, hello. ¿Ahora me escuchan bien? Sí. Se ve mejor. Va. Ok, sigamos entonces. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ok. Uh, we have affirmative statements. I am an. Contractions. I'm an. In negative, we have uh, I am not. Jen, I'm not Jen. Look. Good. So it's affirmative and negative, right? Give me one example, Naum. Instead of say I am an, say I am Naum. Come on. I am Naum. Contraction? Am um, Naum. And in negative, eh. Eh, Naum, eh, say eh, Jose, I am not. Naum? I, I am not Jose. Contraction? Eh, I am not Jose. Okay, good. I'm not Jose. Good. That's it, right? Now, here we have uh, for the second person. I am is first person. And um, you are, you, right? It's the second person. So you say you are an architect, right? All contraction, you are an architect, right? Okay. And third person, singular, he is a teacher. He's a teacher. She is a singer. She's a singer, right? Ok, so this is the general view, es un, una vista general de, de cómo uh, se utiliza el verbo to be. How do you say the verb to be, right? In affirmative, negative, and using contraction, right? Ok, now, here we have the examples. Look, I am Natalie, contraction, I'm Natalie. You are a secretary, you're a secretary. He is an engineer. He's an engineer. She is a floor manager. She's a floor manager, right? Contraction and no contraction. So um, help me reading, please, Yvonne. Can you help me reading? I am Natalie. I'm Natalie. Continue. You are a secretary. You're a secretary. He is an engineer. He's an engineer. She's a floor manager. She's a floor manager. Okay, a floor manager. Thank you, Nat eh, Natalie. <laughs> Sorry, Ivonne. <laughs> Excuse me. Está viendo aquí Natalie. I'm sorry, Ivonne. Y tome en consideración que tengo cerca de 200 alumnos. A veces me, se me chiporrean los yunques <laughs> con los nombres. I'm sorry, Ivonne. Okay, let's continue. Right now, we are going to uh, complete these sentences. Okay, give me a second. Okay, here, right? Okay. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Ya, ya lo tenía. Ya lo tenía programado. Ah, aquí estamos. Permítame un segundito. Realmente un segundito que ya lo, ya lo tenía listo solo para que lo llenáramos. No sé qué pasó. Aquí está. Aquí está ya. Sí, ya funcionó. Ok, let's, let's start with the list, right? Vamos a comenzar con la lista. So, Alessandro. Listen, Alessandro, you are going to write the negative, right? Lo que me va a hacer es eh, copiarme esta oración, Alessandro. Sí. Usando contracciones. Ve el ejemplo. He's, he is not a singer. Aquí lo han contractado. He's not a singer. O he isn't a singer. ¿Sí? Hay dos formas de contractar aquí. ¿Sí? He is not a singer. He's not a singer. Contractamos he's el sujeto. Ajá. Y aquí contractamos el verbo to be. Mire, en la segunda. Ahora, hágame lo mismo usted, Alessandro, con la siguiente oración. She's not a teacher. Please. Cheese. Vamos a ver, contraction. Cheese, right? Cheese. Uh -huh. 
She's not a teacher. She's not a teacher. Teacher. Good. Thank you. The second one. La segunda. Um, good. Vea el ejemplo de arriba para que le ayude. Solo que usted va a decir she en lugar de he. I am. No, she. No. She. She. she I am. No, no, I am no. Es con el she, ¿verdad? Recuérdese que es she is. Solo que yo quiero que me contracte el negativo. Vea el ejemplo de arriba. No sé si lo alcanza a ver, no. Eh, no. Eh, Alessandro, estoy... Por los nervios del internet, hasta los nombres, me estoy equivocando. Ok. Vea el ejemplo de arriba, Alessandro. He... ¿Cómo dice? He isn't. He, he isn't a singer, right? Entonces, sigue el mismo modelo usted aquí. She... She isn't... Excelentoso... She isn't a... Not, not a teacher. A teacher. <laughs> Very good, Alessandro. Thank you. She's not a teacher. She isn't a teacher. Look, these are two ways to contract, right? Dos formas de contractar. Two ways of contraction. Yes? Okay, now let's go to the next one. Who's going to help me? Uh, Yvonne, please. I'm not an architect. I'm not an architect. Very good. So we use the contraction here one way, right? Solo es una forma. I'm not an, an architect, right? I am not an architect, no contraction. I'm not an architect, contraction, right? Okay, let me see. Deborah, help me, please. Deborah? Okay, teacher. Okay, please. Uh, let me see. You are not. You are not Sara. You're not Sara. You aren't Sara. You aren't Sara. That's it, right? Thank you. Delia, please help me with the number uh, five, right? You are going to, to write or I have to write? No, you, can you write? Um, I don't know, maybe because in the, um, the screen, give me the option. But right. if you want to write, it's okay. Right, try. Let me see. If you can do it, do it. Um, I, but I can't, uh, the only that I can is draw. Not, no, 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 right. no right. Okay, I will write mm -hmm. for you. Don't worry. Dictate. Okay. Is um, he is not a flight attendant, and he isn't He's a flight attendant. Not a flight. Flight. Uh, well, I don't have a space here. No tengo espacio aquí. Quiero mm -hmm. lo voy a dejar así. Bueno, aquí abajo. Flight attendant. Si se entiende, verdad? He's not a flight attendant or he isn't he isn't a flight attendant. Flight attendant. You know the meaning of flight attendant, right, Delia? Yes, teacher. What is it? Aeromosa. Aeromosa. Oh, sobrecargo, mm -hmm. too, right? Oh, sobrecargo. Mm -hmm. right. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Flight attendant. Flight. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Any question, okay. class? No, I don't have a question. No, okay, good. Thank you very much. Now let's continue, right? Let's continue. Don't stop. Recuerden que esto ya lo vimos. Aquí solo es un repaso. Yes? Good. Now, how to use the verb to be with plural, right? El anterior lo vimos con singulares, right? I am not. Permítanme. No creo que me adelanté. Me adelanté. Yes. Affirmative. Sí, me adelanté. You are a student. Sí, me adelanté un poquito, perdón. Esta, este día no, no. 
cada vez que me cae el internet, me, me pierdo. Sorry, me, me pierdo. Así que vamos a regresar a esta parte. Contractions, yes. Sí, vamos a ver aquí. Let me see. Pero no me deja escribir también. No salgo de una para meterme en otra. Permítame un segundito. Vamos a copiar esta que está aquí. Copy. Y le damos aquí. One. Veo que a algunos de ustedes les gusta mucho la tecnología, ¿verdad? Así es que cuando me trabe aquí me ayudan. Ya, ya me dio la idea de Elia del cable. Vamos a comprar un cable mejor. Uno grandote, así para que me alcance el otro cuarto. <ríe> ok. I did it, teacher. You did it. Was me, teacher. No. <laughs> huh? It's, was me. It's not my, wasn't my idea, teacher. Ah, okay. I got it. Sorry. Okay. Ya ven que hasta en eso me estoy equivocando. <laughs> Van a disculparme esta y muchas más que voy a cometer. Excuse me. Va, sigamos acá. Aquí estamos, sí. Va, vamos a la contraction. Yes. Contraction. Uh, who's going to help me? Uh, Edwin, please. Edwin, you're going to do the next. Listen, Edwin. In this, okay. in this first sentence, uh, she is a banker, right? So you only are going to contract and you're going to say she's a banker. Instead of saying she is, she's a banker, right? And number two, yeah. you are a student. What is the contraction, Edwin? Uh, you... You are. You are. A, apostrophe. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh -huh. You're. You're a student. Sorry. Encima mi perrito aquí ladrando. Sorry. You're a student. A student. You're a student. Yes. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, who's next? Eh, Lupita, me lo escribe en el chat, Lupita, y vamos con el 4, number 4. Eh, Erika, please. Erika, can you help me? No, no está, no está Erika ahora, ¿verdad? So, eh, Abigail, please. Abby, help me with number 4. I'm an athlete. I'm. I'm an athlete. athlete. I'm an athlete. Very good. Thank you. Now, Lupita, let me see. He. Uh, well, todavía está escribiendo, Lupita. Bueno, dejémoslo. Number, number five, please. Number five. Um, Elizabeth, can you help me with number five, please? Monica is an actor. Monica. I don't know. Okay. No, no. Now, this is a good question. Listen, Elizabeth, this is a good question. Can we contract names? Podemos hacer contracciones con los nombres propios? Yes or no? What do you think? ¿Qué piensa usted? No. The answer es is... Que, es que en esa no le hallo como que contractar. Okay. That, that's, that's my question. Es que esa es mi pregunta. ¿Se puede poner el apóstrofe ahí al, al nombre de Mónica, sí o no? ¿Qué cree usted? Creo que no. ¿Y si le digo yo que sí? <risa> es que habíamos dicho que lo siguiente era ah, no, como eso el es, adjetivo, ¿verdad? Ese era el posesivo. Ahorita Ajá. solo estamos en contracciones con el verbo to be. Ah. Sí. Lo que pasa es que hay varias formas. Vale, voy a poner aquí aprovechando varias formas de contractar. Por ejemplo, Mónica's gone to the party. Va, mire, aquí dice Mónica se ha ido a la fiesta. Y si quitamos ese apóstrofe, nos damos cuenta que estamos hablando de un tema que se llama el presente perfecto. ¿Sí? Esta es una forma de contractar, ¿sí? Mónica's gone. 
Ok, otra forma. Otra forma de, de hacer la contracción. Mónica's book. Aquí quiere decir que el libro es de Mónica. ¿Sí? Es otro ejemplo de contractar. Y el que me interesa ahorita, esos eran los adjetivos. El que me interesa es el verbo to be. Vamos a poner Mónica's um, Elizabeth sister. Mónica es la hermana de Elizabeth. Entonces, esta parte que está aquí, mire, Elizabeth, es el verbo to be. Quiere decir que sí se puede contractar. ¿Qué dice ahí? Mire, Mónica es la hermana de Elizabeth, ¿sí? Ok, muy bien. Y en la que estamos aquí es cómo contractar el verbo to be con Mónica. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? El apóstrofe, la S, y ponemos an act. Quiere decir que sí se puede, sí se puede, sí se puede. Mónica's an actor. Otro ejemplo, vamos a poner otro ejemplo. Usando su nombre. De reina de Inglaterra. Oh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth in her house. ¿Qué quiere decir esto, Elizabeth? Tradúzcamelo. Eh, ¿Qué es la casa de Elizabeth? No, 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 no. No. Ah, está en su casa. Ajá, correcto. Elizabeth está en su casa. Yes, very good. Sí, es que no, no, eh, no quiero que me confundan el verbo to be con los posesivos, ¿verdad? Creo que ya, ya los confundí un poquito, sí. Los confundí un poquito. Pero vamos, en el repaso vamos a, a, a salir de este enredo. En este caso, sí podemos contractar el verbo to be con los nombres propios, sí. Pero es el verbo to be. ¿Ok? No es posesivo. No estamos hablando de posesión aquí, sí. Ahora bien, cuando ya hayamos avanzado, cuando vayan ahí por el básico 6 o el intermedio 1, Ustedes ya van a reconocer cuándo poner un apóstrofe y una S y qué significa en cada contexto. Hoy se los expliqué, los tres. Uno, cuando es posesivo. Otro, cuando es el presente perfecto. Y otro, que es el caso ahorita, cuando hablamos del verbo to be en tercera persona. ¿Sí? Ok, entonces ahorita nos quedamos solo sí, con sure. que Elizabeth is. Ok, aquí Elizabeth Quiere decir Elizabeth is. Y solo termino acá, permítanme. Y en el ejemplo que estamos ahorita trabajando, Mónica Monica is an actor. ¿Ok? ¿Si ¿Sí estamos claros? ¿O vemos otro ejemplo? ¿Sí? Vale. Uh, ¿Quién me estaba diciendo? ¿Quién me estaba hablando? Dele. Mi teacher. How many, how many basic levels are? Six. Six? Six, yes. Uh, yes, okay. Now I have the, the sentence here from Lupita. He is Victor, she said. He is, he's Victor, right? And one more question. Aprovechando que ya, ya nos metimos en la gramática aquí. <ríe> ¿Podemos contractar nombres comunes? JC, ¿qué dice usted, JC? ¿Podemos contractar nombres comunes, sí o no? Ya vimos que nombres propios sí se pueden. ¿eh? Aquí está, Mónica's an actor. Sí se puede. Pero JC, ¿con nombres comunes se pondrá? ¿Se podrá? ¿Qué dice usted, JC? Sí. Yes, correct. Sí se puede. Eh, vamos a ver aquí, aquí vamos a cambiar. The students.
very intelligent. Así como todos los de este grupo, ¿verdad? Very intelligent. The students very intelligent. ¿Qué quiere decir este apóstrofe y esta S? Quiere decir la contracción del verbo to be. Sí, entonces es así. El estudiante es bien inteligente. The students very intelligent. ¿eh? Perdón, ok. Entonces, hemos visto aquí en este pequeño ejercicio que podemos contactar. He is an actor. Teacher. Sí, solo termino con la idea. Permítame, Nelly. Okay. He is an actor. Podemos contractar pronombres. ¿Sí? Con, con el is. Con el is. Podemos contractar nombres propios. Mónicas an actor. Y podemos contractar nombre, nombres propios. ¿va? No, también podemos contractar nombres comunes. The students an actor. El estudiante es un actor. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? No, Delia, please tell me. Uh, no, my, my question is, with the plural, is ah. the same... Uh, apostrophe um, R E. No, no, no. You can only contract. Oh, it's only for singular. Only with singular, yes. With yeah, uh, that's what... with uh, plural, you can contract just the pronoun. Um, okay. I will. I will copy. Yeah, because... Give me a second. They're they're uh, actors. Look, that's good. Mm -hmm. You can make the contraction, right? They are actors, they are actors. Yeah. But if you say, for example, the doctors, in plural, right? The doctors, mm -hmm. doctor, uh, rare, no, 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 it's not. Oh, okay. Do you understand? Los doctores son rare, no, no, sorry, no, no puedo ni pronunciarlo, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's one my, my question. But do you understand mm -hmm. the idea? You can make construction yeah, I got just, it. just with the, the pronoun in plural, right? There. Or we're. Mm -hmm. So the, the rule that you're explaining is just for the for the is. personal number third person uh -huh, for singular. singular. Yes, for third person. For singular and, and possessive. No, in possessive is, is, is another situation, right? With possessive, yes. You can say. No, I mean that. I mean the, the use of the apostrophe. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was telling mm -hmm. you three things, right? Es que a veces Because you you say with the names. Se mete uno en la gramática es la de no acabar, verdad? Porque hay tantas reglas. Okay. Sí, eh, entiendo. I tell I told you for three cases. Le dije tres casos. Número yeah. uno, cuando es el verbo to be. En este caso, por ejemplo, Mónica's. An actor, ¿verdad? Este es un caso. Caso número dos. Mónica's eh, written a book. Mónica ha escrito un libro. Y en este caso, el apóstrofe y la S significa Mónica has. ¿Sí? Y por último, está el posesivo. Mónica's book. ¿Sí? El libro de Mónica. Entonces, si alguna vez ven ustedes un apóstrofe y una S con un nombre propio o común, tiene tres significados. Uno con el verbo to be, uno con el posesivo y el otro es con el, el presente perfecto. ¿sí? Pero solo podemos hacerlo con nombres comunes y nombres propios. ¿sí? Ah, y pronombres también. ¿sí? Ok. Eso es para adelantarles un poquito. Eso lo van a ver después, pero ahorita. Pues nos, Thank quedamos, you, nos quedamos con lo más sencillo. The, the, more, the most simple thing here. Mónica es un actor, right? Que esto es lo que les va a salir en la plataforma, ¿sí? Mónica es un actor. Yes? Ok, let's continue. Creo que de, de ahora en adelante solo en este cuarto voy a dar las clases porque... Ok. Lo malo es que aquí, de repente, aquí entra mi perrito y se pone a ladrar. Ok. 
Now, uh, let's make the same exercise here. Look. El mismo ejercicio aquí. Solo que es en plural, ¿sí? Permítanme. Yo no sé por qué se me desconfigura. Ya, ya había hecho esto. Ya lo tenía listo para ustedes. Ahí está, ¿ve? ¿eh? Ahí está. Sí, ya estaba listo. Yes. Ok. Continue. Let's continue. Ok. Uh, we were working with... Uh, Elisa, right now is the turn of Jonathan. Jonathan... The same exercise. The only difference, Jonathan, is that in this case, we have plural. Instead of say, she is, he is, I am, we're going to use the plural. They, in this case, is plural. Uh, we, sorry, is plural, right? So what is the contraction, Jonathan? Can you hear me? Jonathan, ¿me escucha, Jonathan? Yes, teacher. Ah, ok, good, good. Bueno, disculpe que le, le, le hable tanto porque a veces siento que es el internet. Sí, sí, sí. No es que lo esté apresurando. Usted toma. <risa> uh, contraction sería. Ajá. We. Ajá. We. Vale, le voy a dar una pista, Jonathan. Aquí, we are, solo elimíneme la A, the letter A, right? Ok. Entonces, ¿cómo queda? Quería we. We're, right? We're. we're. Listen, we're. We're, we're teachers. teachers. We're teachers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, next one, please. Eh, José. Number three, Jose. Uh, no, we're not. N no. Coma. No. We're. We're not. Correct. Y también podríamos hacer este, mire. No. We aren't. Excelentoso. Este es para Jonathan. Y para José, okay, good, thank you very much. Uh, who's next? Now, please help me. Number four, now. They, they aren't artists. They aren't artists. Correct. Or you can say they, they they're are. They're not artists. Artists, very good. Thank you, Naum. Estamos en la jugada desde San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Good. Next one, please. Uh, JC, number five, JC. I'm a student. A I'm a student. Excelentoso, yes. And the last one, please. Eh, minor, ¿ya llegó a casa, Minor? Yes. Yes, excelentoso. Sí. Ya todo, aquí está, eh, teacher. Uh, sí, bueno. Sí, está bien, no hay problema, Minor. No, no encienda su cámara. Así me pasaba a mí que si la encendía me iba la señal. Ok. Minor, number six. She is a chef. She is a chef. She is. Similar to the cheese, right? <laughs> A chef. Thank you very much. Sigamos entonces y aquí viene otro ejercicio más complicado. Yes. Now complete the sentence. Use his, she's, or their, and the preposition from. Okay. So this is more complicated because you're going to say the contraction and the preposition from. Right. Mis Tomiko Matsura. Cheese, cheese, contraction from, um, 
no sé cómo decir esto, Hamamatsu Japan, Japan. Ohayo Kosaimas, student. Eh, Jonathan San, Ohayo Kosaimas. Sayonara. Ok. So, Hamamutsu, Japan. Now, eh, Miss Berta Solís. What happened with Miss, Miss Berta Solís? Now, let me see who's next. Melba. Hello, Melba. Melba. Melba, I'm sorry. Hello, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Let me see. Le vamos a poner la, la asistencia, Melba. Thank you. Okay, good. So, what is the contraction here? There. Mm. There from. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Miss Miss Berta. Berta. Miss Berta Solís. She's from yes. Monterrey. Uh -huh. She's Miss... from Monterrey, Mexico. From Monterrey, Mexico. Very good. Thank you, Melba. Thank you. Now, uh, Monica, please. Number three. Mr. and Mrs. Frank Hedenburg. Hi, okay. From Berlin. Danke. Uh, they're from? They're correct. They're Berlin, from Germany. Berlin. Good. They're from Berlin. Good. And uh, Nicole, ya está con nosotros, Nicole? No. Eh, Oscar, Robert, Robert, bueno, entonces sigamos otra vez con el listado, Alessandro, help me, Alessandro, repetition, ah, a Edwin no le he preguntado, ¿verdad? Ya le pregunté, Edwin. No, no, se me ha preguntado, no, no, se me había escapado. Si. <ríe> ok, Edwin, antes de Alessandro, dígame. Mr. George Crandall. Yeah. It's a man, right? His. 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 His are from. He's from Victoria, Canada. Mr. George Crandall, he's from Victoria, Canada, right? Good. And Mari Melon, Melon. I'm sorry, perdón, Melon. Miss Mary Melon, Melbourne, Australia, right? It's a woman. So, Alessandro, please. She is from. He's. Uh -huh, but Mary, Alessandro, Mary. Mary Melon, she is from. She, very good. She is. She is from Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia, right? Good. Talking about Australia, what is the capital? Uh, uh -huh, minor, tell me. No, yo quería leer la, la siguiente. Ah, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, minor. Ahorita. Just, uh, I'm asking you, what is the capital of Australia? The capital city of Australia? Sydney. Sydney. No, Sydney, no, it's, no. The capital city of Australia is Canberra. Canberra. Yes. Canberra. And the capital of Canada? Toronto. No. no. Ottawa. 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 Yes. It's a nombre indígena. Ottawa. Yes. Okay. Minor. <laughs> number six, please. Mr. J. Hill and Miss. Mr. Sorry. J. Hill. And Miss Mr. Mr. Jake Hill and Miss Betty Parker, uh, they're from Los Angeles, USA. They're from Los Angeles, right? Ahí donde hay un montón de salvadoreño, Los Angeles, right? Good. And number seven, right? Uh, Yvonne, help me with number seven, please. Mr. Ku Jing Wen. <laughs> He's from, he is from Wuhan. No sé si es mi imaginación, pero que esta Wuhan, que no es la ciudad que quedó encerrada por el coronavirus. Sí, ¿verdad? Bueno, ok, Wuhan. Es una ciudad gigante, enorme. Now, en number eight, Miss Norbachat. 
is a, is a woman, right? So uh, Deborah, help me please with numbers number eight. She's from Cairo. She's from Cairo, Egypt, right? Egypt. Mm -hmm. Now, repeat after me, please, everybody. Repeat after me. Miss Tomiko Matsuda. She is from Hamamatsu, Japan. Miss Berta Solis. She is from Monterrey, Mexico. Mr. and Mrs. Franz Heidelberg. They're from Berlin, Germany. Mr. George Crandall. He's from Victoria, Canada. Canada. Miss Mary Sandy, no, Melon. Miss Mary Melon, or Melon, I don't know. She's from Melbourne, Australia. She's from Melbourne, Australia. Mr. Jay Hill and Miss Betty Parker. They're from Los Angeles, United States. Mr. Q Kui Jing Wen. He's from Wuhan, China. China, sorry. She is, no, 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 sorry. He's from Wuhan, China. He is from Wuhan, China. Miss Nor Bajat. She is from Cairo, Egypt. Egypt. Okay, let's continue. Now we have negative, right? Negative sentences. We are not Irene and Cindy. We're not Irene and Cindy. You are not managers. You are not managers. Recuérdense que aquí hay dos formas para contractar, ¿verdad? Podemos decir, we're not Irene and Cindy, o podemos decir, we aren't. Irene and Cindy, right? De esto ya hicimos un ejercicio, o no? Sí, creo, creo que esto ya lo habíamos hecho, ¿verdad? O no? Bueno, lo vamos a hacer otra vez entonces. Antes voy a tomar la asistencia, please. Eh, Alessandro. Present, teacher. Yvonne. Present. Débora. I'm here. Delia. Present. Edwin. Edwin. Present teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Lupita. Erika. Abby. Present. Elizabeth. Present. Jonathan. Present. Jose. Present teacher. Naum. Present. JC. Present teacher. Minor. Present. Melba. Present teacher. Monica. Present. Nicole. Oscar. Robert. Ok, alguien me dijo que iba de camino, pero no sé si... Como no aparecía el nombre, solo el celular, no sé quién era. Bueno. Ok, good. Now, Delia, help me with number two, please. What are we going to do? Uh, we have one manner to express the, the negative, right? For example, there are not bankers. So what you're going mm -hmm. to do, uh, Delia, is going to change. Instead of say, they're not bankers, you're going to say, they aren't bankers. So here we are with number two. We're not Ben and Sam. We are not Ben and Sam. We aren't. We aren't. Ben, ben and Sam. Sam, that's it, right? Very good. Next one, please, Edwin. You're not doctors. 
your you you aren't you are not doctors okay you aren't but aquí ya no necesitamos el not Edwin, porque él ya va en la contracción entonces no, el, sí, you aren't you aren't doctor right doctor uh -huh. good now the opposite ahora cambiamos al revés See, we are in engineers, we're not engineers, right? So number five, please. Eh, Lupita, me la responde ahí en el chat, por favor. Eh, esta semana Lupita y yo nos comprometemos a lo siguiente. Lupita va a comprar su, su micrófono y yo mi cable para conectarlo directo al router, ¿verdad? <ríe> y así no tenga problemas. Ok. Esperamos su mensaje ahí, Lupita. Now, number six. Eh, Erika, please. No, Erika no está, ¿verdad? Eh, Abby. Abigail, number six. You are a student, not a student. You are... No, sorry, you're, right? You're not a student. Students, very good. Good, that's it. And Lupita, you have the answer. Okay, vamos a esperar ahí que termine Lupita. Yes. Now let's go to number, to the next part, right? Questions. Ya vimos las oraciones afirmativas, las negativas, y ahora vamos a las preguntas. Yes, ah, ahí está la respuesta de Lupita. Yes. They're not pilots. Yes, they're not pilots. They're not pilots. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, let's go to the question, right? Remember that the, with the verb to be, sorry, with the verb to be, the only thing you do is to change the position of the verb to be in the subject. Instead of say, you are Carlos, you say, are you Carlos? Okay. And then the answer is, yes, I am, or no, I'm not. Is she a manager? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Oh, no, she's not. Is he a supervisor? Yes, he is. No, he isn't. No, he's not. Are you colleagues? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. No, no, we're not. Are they service providers? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Or no, they're not. And finally, are your bosses here? Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Oh, no, they're not. Right? So we change the position. Instead of say you are, are you? And then the question at the end. Right? And notice the intonation. Listen. The intonation is a rising intonation. So you say, are you Carlos? Is she a manager? Is he a supervisor? So it's a rising intonation, right? Rise in una intonación que va hacia arriba. Okay? And then we have two options, just two options. Or yes or no. Or yes or no. Por eso es que se llama estas preguntas así, miren. Yes, no question. Porque usted responde o sí o no, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si digo, is she a manager? Usted, uh, no, creo que ella, no, sí o no. Es que yo pienso, no, sí o no. Yes, she is a manager. O no, she's not a manager, right? Solo conteste sí o no. Así es sencillo. Ok, now we're going to make an exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio rapidito. Yes, so. Um, Elizabeth is going to make the question for uh, for Jonathan, yes. And Jonathan is going to answer only affirmative, right? Only affirmative, yes? Elizabeth, you make all the questions and Jonathan answer only affirmative. Las preguntas que le va a hacer eh, Elizabeth, Jonathan me las va a contestar en afirmativo, todas, yes? Okay, ready, Elizabeth? Are you, Jonathan? 
No, no, no. The, the same. Hagamos la siguiente. La, la misma información para que no me pierda no. ahí. Yes. Ok, Elisa. Are you Carlos? Yes. Yes. Yes, I am. Good. Continue, Elizabeth. Is she a manager? Yes, she is. Is he a supervisor? Yes, he is. Are you college? Yes, we are. Are they service provide? Yes, they are. They I are. I are. Yes, they are. Mm. Yes, they are. Are your bosses here? Yes, they are. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And look, manager, supervisor, colleagues, provider, right? And bosses, bosses, jefes, right? Proveedores, jefes, colegas. Good. Now, uh, Jose, you're going to make the question, but in this case, Naun is going to answer. Naun tiene dos opciones para responder. Puede decir, no, she isn't, o puede decir, no, she's not. Okay, ready, Naun? Okay. okay. Jose, okay. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> O diga, no, bro, yeah. Lentoso, <laughs> diga. <laughs> okay, Jose, make the question, Jose. Hágale las preguntas ahí a Naum. Uh, are you Carlos? No, I'm not. Is she manager? No, she is not. He, is he a supervisor? He's not. Are you a college? No, we aren't. Are they service provider? No, they aren't. Are your bosses here? No, they aren't. Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, you deserve a uh, claps from Doodly, right? Se merecen aplausos de parte de Doodly, otra vez, permítame. Por aquí anda Doodly, yes. Okay, thank you very much. Let's continue, right? The last exercise, vamos a hacer el último ejercicio. Esta noche de puro ejercicio, yes. Okay, look, what are you going to do here? Here we have a question. Is he a scientist? No, he's not. Or you can say, no, he isn't. So you can answer one way, right? The only exception here is when you make, well, this number three. Well, in some cases you have one option or two options, right? But we're going to answer here, right? Let me see. Um, JC, is Amy a doctor? Yes. Yes, 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 a doctor. Okay, pero Amy sería un qué? Una he, una she, una they. He. He. Mm. No lo sé, He's Rick. Amy, suena bien femenino. ¿verdad? Oh, oh, uh, Amy, she. She, correct. Yes, she. Yes, she am, yes, she is, o yes, she are. She is. Yes, she is, correct. Aquí este sí es de dos opciones, ¿verdad? Ok, thank you, JC. Minor, please help me. Number four. Is he a manager? No, he isn't a manager. No, he... Permítame hacerlo aquí. No, he isn't. No, he... Or isn't. not. Or... 
No, he is not a manager. No, he is not, right? No, he's not. No, he isn't or no, he's not. Very good, thank you. Number five, please. Uh, who's next? Mm, Melba, please. Number five, are you teachers? No, we aren't. No, but the answer is yes, Melba. In number uh, five. Perdón. Yes, we are. We are teachers. Yes, we are, oh, right? Yes, Short we answer. are. Uh -huh. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Una pregunta, Melba. ¿Podemos usar aquí contracciones? ¿Sí o no? Yes, we are. No. No. Okay. No. Cuando es no. respuesta corta, no se puede usar contracciones. Thank you, Melba. Nice. Correct. Thank okay. you. Number six, please. Monica. Are Bob and Ken athletes? Yes, they are. Yes. Oh, they are. Yes, they are. Good, thank you. Again, we cannot make contraction here. We're gonna say, yes, they are. No, no, no. Mm -mm. It's yes, they are, right? Okay, thank you. Now let's go to number seven. Uh, let's start with Alessandro again, right? Let's start with Alexandre, Alessandro, sorry. Are you a student? She is. Are you, you, a student? No. Um, no. No, he's not. Okay. Uh, minor, cuando yo pregunto con el you, hay dos opciones. ¿Sí? Okay. Que diga, ¿son ustedes estudiantes? Are you students? Entonces yo respondo, yes, we are. O no, we're not. Y la opción dos es, are you a student? Solo un estudiante. Entonces yo contesto con, yes, I am. Yes, I am. O no, I am not. Sí, entonces el you tiene dos opciones. En singular significa tú o usted. Y en plural significa ustedes. ¿Aquí qué es? ¿Singular o plural, Alessandro? Plural. A student. A student. Plural o singular? Singular. Singular, ok. Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a contestar, Alessandro? No. No, no, I am. No, I am not. Very good. No, I am not. No, I am not. Are you a student? No, I am not, right? Good. And the last one to finish, right? Thank you, Alessandro. Yvonne, please. Help me with number eight, please. Are you Logan? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Again, we cannot make contractions, right, Yvonne? No, right? We cannot make contractions. So you can say, yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. No, it's yes, I am, right? No contraction. Okay, now let's practice. Uh, Deborah, number one, please. You are letter A and uh, Delia, your letter B. Listen, in this context, because you have two options, you're going to answer just with one option, right? Okay, ready? One, two, three, action. I forgot the pronunciation. Deborah, your letter A, number one. And Delia, your letter B. Hello, Deborah. Okay, so Delia and Edwin. So Delia, your letter A and Edwin, letter B, right? Hello. Okay.
Make the question, Delia. Yeah. Okay. Is he a science team? A science team, correct. Uh -huh. No, he's not. No, he's not. Very good. Listen, Delia. Scientist. Scientist. Good, scientist. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, number two, please. Uh, look, no, uh, Eric. No, Erika no está. Eh, Abby and Elizabeth, right? Abby, your letter A, and Elizabeth, letter B. Only one option, right? Are they architect? No, they are not. No, they're? Not. They're not, right? They're not. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, Jonathan, you made the question in number three, and Jose, the answer. Number three, Jonathan and Jose. Is a dog dog? Yes, she's. Yes, she is, right? Number four, please. Uh, Naum and JC. Naum, your letter A. Is he a manager? No, he is. He is sent. No, he is. Oh, wait, wait, JC. He isn't. He isn't. Okay, good. That's no, he right. isn't. He is. No, he isn't. Very good. Number five, please. Uh, minor and Melba, please. A and B. Are you teachers? Yes, we are. Good. Number six, please. Uh, Monica and Alessandro. Uh, are Bob and Ken athletes? Yes, they are. Good. Listen, I like the way Monica made the intonation, right? Me gustó la forma en que Monica empezó a leer, pero después se fue para arriba con la entonación, ¿verdad? He says, are Bob and Ken athletes? Are Bob and Ken athletes? Uh, you know? That's the correct intonation. Thank you, Monica. Now, uh, Yvonne, please. You and Deborah, ya está con nosotros, Deborah. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Oh. Yes, okay, good, thank you. So Yvonne, your letter A, and Deborah, letter B. The number seven? Number seven, number seven. Are you a student? No, I'm not. Very good. And listen. The intonation here, Deborah, it's mm, mm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not. Say it again, De Deborah. No, I'm not. I'm not. Very good. Thank you. And the intonation with the question is, are you a student? Exaggeration, you know, a student. Okay. So are you a student? And then, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Like, ma, 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 I'm not. Good? And number eight. Thank you, Yvonne and Deborah. Delia, please. You and Edwin. Your A, Deborah, and Edwin, your letter B, right? Deborah or Delia, teacher? Ah, no, Delia, Delia, sorry. Number eight. Please. Are you Logan? Edwin? Hello. Letter B, number eight, letter B. Uh, no, I am not. No, but it says <laughs> yes, right? Usted diga que sí, aunque usted no es el Logan, usted diga sí. Uh, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Le vamos a decir Logan Escobar, right? ¿Se acuerda de Logan, Edwin? No, no. No, no, no vio los X-Men. No. Logan era no. el Wolverine, el que tenía las... Ah, sí, sí, ya, yeah, sí, así que... Es el Logan, uh -huh. right? Ajá. Ok, entonces vamos a decir Logan Escobar. Okay, thank you very much, class. Now we finish with the practice, right? Terminamos con la práctica. Aquí a 
ya quedan pulidos con el, el verbo to be. Ya no, aquí ya no hay más para dónde, vamos. Afirmative, negative, and question, right? Pero sí tengo que hacer la pregunta. Any question? ¿Hay alguna pregunta todavía? ¿Cómo usa el verbo to be? Aquí con mi internet malo, ¿verdad? Y, y a veces que cuesta un poco escribir, pero aquí estamos con todo, ¿verdad? Yes? Ok, now we're going to, to the manual. Vamos al manual entonces. Let's go to the manual. Give me a second here. Permítame un segundo, vamos. Aquí está. Vamos al manual. Ok. Give me a second. Dale un segundo, vamos a hacer esto más grande. Ahí está, creo, un poquito menos. Unit one, right? Here, right? Let me see. So let's start with this exercise, right? Okay, let me see. Eh, quiero ver cuántos sabemos. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Somos eh, 16. Entonces vamos a hacer. Eh, uh, serían 8, 12, 16. Cuatro grupos nos salen de cuatro, ¿verdad? 4 por 4, 16. Ahí me di con la mate, sí, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a irnos al breakout rooms. Y vamos a hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Ok. Simple. Vamos a hacer simple, sencillo. ¿sí? En su cuaderno solo van a anotar el nombre del compañero y qué es lo que hace. ¿Sí? Ok. Y cuando regresemos. ¿sí? Hoy sí vamos a tener bastante tiempo. Cuando regresemos, eh, todos me van a reportar. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama su compañero? Y. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Si alguno de ustedes todavía no sabe cómo se dice en inglés su ocupación, me la dicen en español y luego la traducimos. ¿Les parece? Ok. Entonces quiero que me... Eh, quiero ver, quiero ver exactamente. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ah, no, somos 15. Let me see. 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ah, pues no somos... Somos 15, entonces vamos a hacer tres grupos de cinco, ¿les parece? ¿Yes? Para que les abunde ahí. Tres grupos de cinco, ¿yes? Y me van a decir, la pregunta uno. What's your name? Copien, por favor. What's your name? Question number two. What do you do? What do you do, right? Ok. Asistente de carga, me preguntan. Eh, realmente nunca he visto es, eh, esa ocupación en inglés, pero sería loading assistant. Loading assistant. Quiero ver si lo puedo escribir por aquí. Lo vamos a escribir por acá para, para que, nos, que no nos quede la duda. Permítanme. Ahí estamos. Loading Assistant. Ok, let me see. Loading Assistant. Ok. Vaya, ¿alguna otra pregunta? No, ok, good. Entonces nos vamos Michelle, al... Yes, ¿Qué medio yes. que vamos a anotar? Vale, solo me van a anotar dos preguntas. What's ah. your name? What's your name? And what do you do? 
What do you do? O si quieren también do? pueden poner What is your occupation? Es la misma pregunta. What do you do o what is your occupation? What do you do o what is your occupation? Es la misma, sí. Entonces me van a hacer estas dos preguntas y me van a hacer igual que ayer, ¿verdad? La rueda de, de caballitos. Un, un alumno le pregunta al otro y el otro al otro y así. ¿Ok? Good. Y todos vamos anotando, ¿les parece? Ok, let's go, let's go. Los que tengan su manual pueden escribir en el manual, ¿sí? Let me see. Vamos ahora a los breakout rooms. Right. Vamos a ver cómo nos queda. Good. Eh, group number one. Group number one. Débora, Abby, Lupita, que va a estar con el chat. Melba y Mónica. Group number two. Edwin, Elizabeth, Jonathan, JC y Minor. And the last group is eh, Alessandro, Delia, Yvonne, Jose, and Naum, right? Ready? Here we go. Melba. Hello, Melba. What about you, Sona? What What do you do? I am a phone. Phone team. Hi, Lupita. Um. 
I am an auditor too. S N O A flor. Excuse me, Jonathan. Ah. Sorry, Jonathan. Sorry for to interrupt. But you have to say F O R K L I F T, right? <laughs> Repeat, come on, Jonathan. Okay. Come on, Jonathan. Repeat. F. Yes, come on. Do it. F. Yo me acuerdo cómo se letre. Vamos a repasar ese alfabeto, Jonathan. Sí. Ah, Dejémoslo en español, pues. Ya no los interrumpo. Sigan, sigan. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. En español, dígalo, no hay problema. Permítame, permítame, ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. <risa> ahorita. Vaya, me voy Pero... a ir a la sala 3, ahí los dejo tranquilitos. Eh, ahorita, Aquí. ahorita, ahorita. Débora, hello. Hi, teacher. Eh, la voy a asignar a una sala. Creo que se salió, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, I am in my, in my phone and I, have, I am having problem with my... my Good, connection. no problem. Uh, let me see. Quiero ver cómo la asigno aquí, que no me aparece. I was in the first one. In the first one, right? Yep. Yes. Eh, eh, let me see. No, no la puedo mover a la, a la misma sala, quiero ver. Mm. Permítame, es que la tecnología me mata. Hoy sí, ahí está. Hello, hello. One minute to finish. Un minuto para terminar. Un minuto.
teacher. Hello, hello. Melba, parece que quedó fuera del grupo. Uh, sí, es que creo que le estaba fallando el internet, pero ya vamos a, a combinarnos. Ok, solo esperamos cuatro estudiantes más y comenzamos. Ok, ya estamos todos, ¿verdad? Ok, let's start with group number one, please. Uh, you're going to say, for example, he is, uh, for example, he is, uh, he is Edwin, and he is uh, an accountant, right? Or you're going to say, she is, she is Delia? She is a manager, right? Okay, good. And you're going to go student by student, right? Van a ir estudiante por estudiante, ¿sí? Vamos a hacer la rueda de caballitos. Ready? I'm going to start with group number one, right? Débora, tu, tu Abigail, Abigail, tu Lupita. Bueno, Lupita me va a escribir, ¿no? En el chat sobre Mónica. Y Mónica me va a hablar de Débora. ¿Yes? Ok, ¿ready? Let's start. Lupita, vaya escribiendo ya sobre Mónica, por favor, en el chat. Okay. Abigail Estela. Wait, uh, again, please repeat, Débora. Abigail is Estela. Ajá, Estela Abigail, yes. Oh, ok. Yes. okay. Um, Estela is a accountant. Okay, yes. and a wait, wait, wait. Cheese. Cheese. Okay. Oh, okay. She is an accountant. No, no, no. She is Estela. Oh, oh the, the o name. O también puede decir better. así, mire, Débora, Débora, give me a second. Puede decir, her name is Estela. Okay. And she is, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. 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 Her name is Estela Abigail. She is an assistant accountant. Correct. Continue, Abby. She, she is, no. Ajá, ¿Cómo she, era? She is Lupita. She, she is Lupita. Eh, is, is a auditor. She is an auditor. She is an auditor. Good. Bueno, vamos a ver en el chat si aparece Lupita ahí. Permítame. Aquí estamos con el chat. Uh, bueno, Lupita está... Pro ahí estamos. Come on, Lupita. You're going to tell me about Monica, please. Okay, vamos a darle tiempo. So, Monica, tell me about Débora, please. Uh, she is Débora. Uh, she is a auditor. An, an auditor. An, an, an auditor. Good. Good. Uh, aquí tengo la respuesta de Lupita. Uh, she is Monica. She is a salesperson. Okay, good. Nice. Now let's go to... Let's go to group number two, please. Edwin to Jonathan, Jonathan to JC, JC to Minor. Aquí solo chicos quedaron, ¿me? Eh? And Minor to Edwin, right? Edwin, begin, please. Yo estoy en este grupo también. Ah, ok. Eh, Elizabeth. Good, entonces va a ser Elizabeth to Edwin. Edwin to Jonathan, Jonathan to JC, JC to Minor, and Minor to... To Elisa, right? You begin, Elizabeth. His name is Edwin Escobar. He is a supervisor. Uh, Jenny. Uh, she is. No, no, Jenny. she is no. Wait, he, Edwin. He is Jonathan. She, 
Ah, Jonathan. <laughs> okay. He is, he is Jonathan. He is, eh, no me acuerdo cómo fue que dijo que, que era la ocupación. <laughs> Presidente de la República, algo así como que dijo, no. <laughs> <laughs> pregúntele entonces, what do you do? Pregúntele. What, what do you do? What do you do? Um, um, occupation fork life. Fork. Fork. Fork lift. Fork lift. Vale. Fork okay, lift. Edwin. Ahora sí. Fork lift. Fork, Driver. Fork. Ah, conductor fork de, de montacarga. Ajá. Fork. Uh, fork. Fork. Fork lift. Fork Driver. Driver. Ok, good. Le tocó difícil. Sí, cabrón. Ok, Jonathan, es que, please. Es que yo había, Jonathan. El, de Jay, el de Jay sí me había aprendido. Ah, bueno. Vamos, Jonathan. A Jay sí, ¿verdad? Yes, please. Ok. He is... No. Yes, yes. He is... Yes. He is... Juan Carlos. Um, and he is accountant. Accountant. An accountant. An accountant. Good. JC? Minor, right? Uh, he is minor Salazar. He is auxiliary accountant. An uh, uh, is a uh, accountant, no, as, assistant, assistant accountant. Assistant accountant. Assistant accountant. Very good. Thank you. Now, minor. Okay. Uh, she is named Elizabeth Castro. Uh, she is supervisor. She's a supervisor, right? Her name, her name is Elizabeth, and she's a supervisor. Thank you very much. And let's go to uh, group number three, please. Alessandro, you begin. Comienza usted, Alessandro. Perdón, ¿con quién me tocaba? Eh, le tocaba a Delia. Delia, okay. She is name, name Delia. She is Supervisor, supervisor. She is supervisor. Okay. Her okay. name, her name is Delia, right? Her name is Delia and she is a supervisor. Thank you. Delia, please. Uh, from who, teacher? Uh, Yvonne. Okay. Yvonne. Okay. Her name is Yvonne. And she is assistant in engineer. Assistant in, oh, interesting. Okay. Yvonne, Teacher Brian, I am not the supervisor. Ah, okay. It's okay. It's the same. You are? Sorry. I am a store manager. Ah, store manager. Ya ven, así se hacen los chambres. Ya ven. <laughs> store manager. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Delia. And I'm sorry for the confusion. Now, Yvonne, sorry. to Jose, no problem. Come on, the idea is to practice, don't worry. Uh, please, Yvonne, to Jose. His name, Jose. Is Jose. Is Jose, uh, he's a security supervisor. A security supervisor, oh. Sir, you sir. Thank you, now Jose, please. Melba. Okay. Uh... She is Melpa. Uh, his occupation. Her uh, occupation. Her occupation. Is, supervisor. Is supervisor. Is that right, Melba? You are a supervisor? Yes. Yeah, oh, good, good. Yes. Okay, Melba, uh, you're going to ask Alessandro, please. Tell me about Alessandro. Okay. His name. Uh, no tengo la ocupación de él si no la noté. Alessandra, what do you do? Melba. 
Diga. Ah, yes, 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 yes. Make the question. Make the question. Yes. Yeah. Eso lo iba a decir, que le hice la pregunta. <laughs> Alessandro, what do you do? Writing assistant. Thank you. Alessandro is a writing assistant. 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 Assistant, right? Assistant. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Uh, a veces nos confundimos un poquito, pero no se preocupen, solo en cuestión técnica, ¿verdad? La idea es practicar. Ok, now we're going to play a game. We're going to play a game. The name of the game is uh, Spelling Bee, right? Abejita de Letreadora. Yes? And we're going to start with this. Alessandro, please. How do you spell this? Igor. E. The spell, please. E. E. Gor. E. I. No. A. <laughs> A. G-L-M-A. Um. Bueno, vamos a repasar el alfabeto entonces, no se preocupe. Let's review the alphabet, right? Let me see. Por aquí vamos a ver, vamos a compartir algo aquí. Okay. Michelle, una pregunta. Sí, dígame. Eh, ¿Por qué no se puede decir, eh, utilizar la palabra eh, auxiliar eh, accountant? Y, y no, sí, y sí se puede, accountant. pero generalmente, eh, o sea, es correcto, auxiliary, o auxiliar, sorry, pero es más común decir assistant, o sea, el, el lenguaje como el lenguaje más, más común en inglés, ¿sí? Okay. Pero ambos son correctos. Ambos son correctos, ¿sí? Yes. Ok, now. Let me see the alphabet. Eh, good. Vamos a repasar el alfabeto. Yes. Por aquí estamos. Ok, listen, please. Page 3, exercise 4. Spelling names. Part A. Listen and practice. A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Again. Page three, part A. Listen and practice. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z Okay so uh, I'm going to ask Alessandro to help me, right? 
Voy a pedirle a Alessandro que me lo lea él solito, ¿sí? Mientras tanto, en lo que Alessandro lo piensa un ratito, <risa> eh, tengo unos anuncios, ¿verdad? Eh, esta noche tiene que estar terminada la unidad 1 en su manual, ¿sí? La unidad 1 es eh, Get to Know Someone, ¿verdad? Eh, entiendo que todos tienen acceso a la plataforma. Eh, algunos ya me la terminaron. Desde la semana pasada lo terminaron, así que lo felicito, pero algunos todavía faltan, ¿sí? Y uh, I'm going to ask Delia, please, can you stay with the one-to-one -one, uh, interview after the class, Delia? ¿Se puede quedar 10 minutos extra conmigo, Delia? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Good. Uh, no sé si hay alguna pregunta. Antes que escuchemos a Alessandro con el alfabeto. <laughs> Ya se afligió Alessandro, no me preocupe, le voy a ayudar. ¿Hay no. alguna pregunta? ¿Todo bien? Ok, estamos practicando las presentaciones que les envío en el grupo. Los videos. ¿Sí? Ok. Ahora les mandé uno de vocabulario y de gramática. ¿Verdad? Las partes de la casa y les envié otro de gramática. ¿Sí, Melba? Tell me. Teacher, eh, en cuanto a lo que está hablando del manual de la plataforma, son las tareas, todas sí, esas tareas la... diariamente. Correcto, vaya. Okay. Eh, por, por cierto, se me había olvidado decirles que en la página 18, pero del manual, o sea, estoy hablando de este manual, ¿sí? Es que el manual es la misma plataforma, solo que en forma diferente, uh -huh. ¿sí? Vaya, eh, en el manual... Ahora ya no nos queda tiempo porque ya se nos acabó el tiempo. En la página 18, miren. Página 18, ¿ya? ¿sí? Les quedan unos ejercicios pendientes. Los que hayan impreso el manual me lo hacen acá, ¿sí? Pero esto no es evaluado. Esto es trabajo personal. Lo que sí es evaluado, Melba, es en la plataforma, ¿sí? Ahí aparecen cinco ejercicios. Esos son los que quiero que me terminen. Entonces yo voy y reviso si ustedes lo han hecho y, les y yo le pongo la nota y esa nota se la envío yo a inglés corporativo, ¿sí? Esa sería. Además que recuerden que esta clase está siendo grabada y la pueden ver en la misma plataforma para que practiquen, ¿verdad? Solo que cuando se me, me falla el internet esa parte salten, ¿eh? <ríe> ¿ok? Porque me da pena que me falle el internet, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Eh, Escuchamos a, a Alessandro, please. Hey. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, J, J, eh, K, 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 L, M, M, U, O, O, P, Q, R, S, eh, T, T, U, B, W, X, S, S, no sé. Y, Y, C, Z, ok. Duli le va a dar un aplauso aquí. ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, dígale algo ahí, Alessandro. Excelentoso. Es excelentoso. <risa> ok. <risa> Tomamos la asistencia y me quedo con Delia, please. Give me a second, my pen. I, I lost my, ah, here is my pen. Ok, uh, Alessandro. Present. Ok, have a good night, Alessandro. Bye bye. Night. See bye. you tomorrow. Yvonne. Good night, teacher. Bye good bye. Good night. Débora. Débora. Good teacher. Goodbye, good goodbye. Delia. Delia. 
I'm here, teacher. Okay, good. Wait for me. Don't go, please. <laughs> okay. Good. Thank you. Edwin. Bye, teacher. Bye, Lupita. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Abby. Bye, teacher. Okay. Elizabeth. Bye. Bye. God bless you. Jonathan. That's it, teacher. Good. Goodbye. Jose. Bye. Yes. Good. Bye bye. Bye. Now. Bye. Now. Present teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good night. JC. Goodbye. Goodbye. God bless you. Minor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Melba. Here, teacher. Okay, goodbye. Bye bye. Take care. Monica. Goodbye. Goodbye. Eh, Nicole, Oscar, Robert, ok, y también Erika, no, verdad, no estuvieron con nosotros esta noche. Ok, Lupita, thank you for your message. Bye bye, have a good night, Lupita. Ok, Delia, here's your personal cloud, right? Ok, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. I'm well, except for my internet. <laughs> okay, I always have problem with it, but I don't know why, because you know, I have 50, 50, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, me megabytes, so it's 50. It's a good internet, but you know, when it's raining, everything is a mess. Yes, I think because it's, it's because of the rain, maybe. I guess, I guess, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, Delia, uh, I don't, well, it's hard to ask you, but because I, I, I am. Why is hard, teacher? No, it's hard to ask you because everything is easy for you. <laughs> and then, but I have to ask you, uh, do you have any question about the classes? <laughs> Something that I, that you need that I explained to you? Mm, no, really, but today I learned three new things uh -huh. about the apostrophe. Oh, good that I didn't know. Yeah, okay, what are those things, Delia? Can you repeat for me? Yeah, that the, um, we only use for singular form and mm -hmm. with possessive, the apostrophe, uh -huh. with possessive and um, with the first, uh, the present names. Perfect. Of, mm -hmm, present perfect. Present and perfect and the name of the person. That's okay, totally mm -hmm. right. When it's a common noun and when it's a proper noun too, right? A proper noun. When yeah. you, for example, Delia's, Delia's house, this is the possessive. Mm -hmm. Delia's home. Estoy en la casa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Delia's, um, let me see, eating a sandwich. Mm -hmm. Delia's eating yes. a sandwich. Okay, so these mm -hmm. are the three forms you can make those contractions, right? I don't know any any topic besides the topic we are learning here, right? Because as far as I know, it's this, these topics are really easy for you, but I don't know if you, if you want me to explain another topic. Mm, not really. But Something I, that you always say, eh, siempre he querido aprender este tema, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any question mm, like that? Mm, no. No, no. Um, I'm taking this like a review for me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, and, Sorry. and I'm learning a new vocabulary. Good. Sorry that sometimes, you know, I speak Spanish because, you know, some guys there in the group are, um, yeah. they don't learn so fast. You know what I mean? I mean, they're really intelligent, intelligent of course. But mm -hmm. uh, when you're learning a new language, language, sorry. Um, Sometimes you are fast or you're slow, right? And that's yeah, good. And I, no, it, it, for me, it's it, um, like the be a teacher. It's, I don't know, you, you have to have a lot of patience because uh -huh. sometimes I, you are explaining something in, in the case of this class. And uh -huh. the, uh, some the students are like, and I don't know, in my case, for example, 
I tell the answer. I can't, I can't wait to, I don't know. Yes. I don't have patience. You don't have, yeah, you'd say, uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, Sara is yeah. a, a, uh, and then you say, my gosh, yeah. it's A-R-A. -A. <laughs> okay. for, uh, yeah, for example, in, in you ask, I, I, I don't remember the name, and you're like, is he or she? Or yeah, but, they? And it's like, but that's hey. normal, you know. But, Remember, but this I know is because basic, oh, basic. Uh -huh. So it's, it's, it's basic. Totally normal. They, they, they're in a way they're going to learn. So because everybody, your professional here, everybody, your accountants, your supervisors, your managers. So yes. I have only professional in this group. So I, I, I'm sure that everybody's going to learn. By the yeah, way, but, but to, uh, for me, it's a, a review and, and I'm happy to to learn new things. OK, good, good. And improve, of, of course. That's it, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations because of your English. You know, you speak very well. Maybe that <laughs> the you. only thing that you have to review is the grammar, but, you know, mm -hmm. it's like in Spanish, right? Uh, you can speak Spanish, but when you when they when they ask you about language, you know, ¿cuál es el objeto directo, el indirecto? ¿Qué es? ¿Cuál es la forma del del uh, plus con perfecto del verbo indicativo y de? Oh, and then you do, oh. Mm -hmm. And I know that it, it is but really hard with, to uh -huh. to yes. to learn English because in in our country. We are learning English, for example, two hours right now, and then we are speaking in Spanish. So I know. I think that, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's very hard. That's mm -hmm. why I will give you the recommendation for the night. Listen, number okay. one, remember that I sent some uh, some sites in, in the inter internet where you can practice. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. I cannot say uh, the name because of the you know the register mm -hmm. the trademark the trademark you know yes. uh, in one of, of those sites you can practice grammar right mm -hmm. so and you can make some tests in that side you have some tests and then you can check if you're right or, or wrong and then mm -hmm. that's one way to learn grammar right mm -hmm. uh, also i recommend to watch movies i don't know if you watch movies in english Let yeah me. it and you know, for example, but I have um, I have a a daughter. She is one year, oh. and I'm watching the the series and the movies and the cartoons uh, in Spanish for her. And this, uh, how do you say subtitles? Sub uh, uh, subtitles or caption? Uh -huh. oh. Or caption in English for me. So in in pronouns for children. You okay. learn. Sorry to ask learn. you. The, sorry to ask you, Delia. But why don't you put the videos in English for the for the baby? Because the the teacher says that she um, first she has to learn Spanish. Spanish. Ah, okay. I understand. Because, uh -huh, because it's the the language that she always hear, and then she can uh, learn. English. I understand what you mean. It is like a confusion for her for her brain or something like that. Oh, okay. I, I don't remember what she said, but it's no, something no, no, like that's that. That's okay. That's okay. She, well, she has to learn Spanish first and then she can mm -hmm, for okay. associate the, the words. I understand, but I will tell you something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. sometimes I, I have a, a, a niece. And mm -hmm. she's learning English and Spanish, right? And sometimes she calls, for example, eh, uh, necesito que me den esa blusa green, for example, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. esa blusa mm -hmm. green, you know, and then you say, oh. but, but mm -hmm. uh, I will tell you my opinion that remember, this is my personal opinion, right? I, I don't want to, to disagree uh, the, the person that is teaching your daughter, but uh, mm -hmm. my opinion is this. In Europe, for example, uh, they normally learn four languages. And then yeah. a, a human is able to learn four languages, like a native language, you know? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Native language. Yeah. Okay? So your mm -hmm. brain 
is capable, is able to learn four languages. But okay. from zero, from when the baby is on the belly, right in the belly, mm -hmm. to four years. Mm -hmm. So zero to four years is the, the, the part of your life where you can learn an, uh, an, a language like a native speaker, you know, mm -hmm. like native. Yeah. And everybody, everybody has the, this capability. So in my opinion, your daughter can do that, but mm -hmm. not in classes. Maybe if you're watching a movie, you're watching, you know, a, a video that mm -hmm. she likes, you know? And my recommendation is that you expose your daughter to, to the sound. To, both. To, to the sound. Understand what I mean? Yeah. Okay, but of course, this is my personal opinion. I'm not an, an expert in <laughs> with babies, but <laughs> this and, is the information And, and I I'm have. trying to teach her that, that she um, heard both language. Yes. But mm -hmm, it, it's like I, I told you that we are um, learning English, but in our country, we just speak in Spanish. I understand, so I understand. Has, Mm -hmm. Yes, but mm -hmm. yeah, believe me, uh, babies are like spongy, you know, esponja. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They absorb everything, and especially mm -hmm. this step, right? The, the first four years, come on, mm -hmm. they learn everything. And even sometimes, you know, it's a strange, Delia, that uh, you are talking. You are mm -hmm. talking, for example, I don't know, you're talking to your mother or to your husband. And then the baby is listening away, right? But mm -hmm. she's playing and, and, and she's doing something else, right? And the other day, it's amazing that you say, uh, Mami, aquel día tú dijiste esto. And they, what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? Si, si tú no estabas escuchando. Sí, pero tú lo dijiste. <laughs> and then, what? Yeah. The babies are amazing. So they listen and they learn like this, right? So that's my mm -hmm. special recommendation. Also, and this is for you exclusive, right? Music, Delia. Yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. So the music is the best, the best way to learn. Mm -hmm. And one thing maybe you don't know, or I don't know if you know, but in YouTube, you can uh, access to audio books. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard a book? An audio in book? YouTube, no, but I listen to um, podcasts in Spotify. Ah, and I try okay. to listen in English and maybe yes. read the, the caption. Well, my mm -hmm. recommendation is that you go to YouTube and there are many mm -hmm. books. Edgar Allan Poe, Tom Sawyer, El Principito. Oh, come on. There are a lot of books. Mm -hmm. So when you have free time, you listen and enjoy the, the reading, right? And practice drama, practice listening, practice syntax. You practice everything, right? With books. Yeah, but believe me, teacher, because I am learning in in my daughter's cartoons because oh, I okay. we watch. <laughs> yes. It, it's it's a true. I and know. Okay, nice. We watch um, pizza de blue. Ah, the blues. Mm -hmm. the, the it says the the clues. No, the blue. Blues, blue, blue, blue clues. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, blue clues. And I and I learned um, vocabulary. I know. And it's like, Come on. But I, I didn't know. But that's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what about the videos mm -hmm. that I usually send to the group? I I watch in my in my lunch. Oh, <laughs> I eat and, I, and I watch the videos. Okay, good. Because that's mm -hmm. it. I feel happy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good. So, Delhi, it was a pleasure for me to talk to you tonight, and and congratulations because you're really good. You're Thank really you, teacher. Good. You help me a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, when when some students don't know the answer, so I I say, Delia, help me, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. And and I don't know if if I can answer the question because you no, are. Oh no, no, do it, do it. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. do it. Not all but the that, question, but. Huh? Yes, or oh, maybe you raise your hand and we say, Delia, can you help me with this? Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and that was my question because I, I heard 
also Deborah, she speaks very Yvonne, well. She speaks very well. Yvonne, too, mm -hmm. she's really good. Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but thank you, teacher, for your no, thank patience. you. Mm -hmm. Thank you to stay here uh, with this court, right? I know it's a sacrifice. It's a time maybe you can dedicate to your daughter, but here you're learning. So it's a mm -hmm. good thing. It's a good thing. Huh. Yes. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, so, teacher. God bless you. Mm -hmm. uh, have a good night and I hope to see you Thank tomorrow, you. right? Yep. Good bye night, bye. teacher. Bye-bye.